to spectrum glasses today in this video i am going to determine the melting point so here you are going to see the melting point apparatus and i am showing you the functioning of this so here you are seeing these four holes so three are for capillaries through which you can determine the melting point and one is for thermometer and this is the support for thermometer now this is the knob for temperature control and here this is the high and low voltage you can set and here is the main switch so through this you can see this green light will be on and the eyepiece light will also on with this main switch and this is for high and low this is the no just to adjust the temperature now i am showing you the melting point capillaries so here you are going to see this is the melting point capillary and this is purchased in such kind of box right so you cannot use this capillary so you have to first fuse these capillaries so that one side of these capillaries will be closed and we are going here you can see so this is closed and this is open capillary so this is after fusion and cooling now i'm just going to fill citric acid and hydrous sample for melting point determination and it has its melting point 153 degree centigrade so i am just filling the capillary here and that is why we have fused one of the side of this capillary so that we can fill our capillary with the sample so this much amount of sample is sufficient to fill the capillary now I am having the thermometer and we are going to place the thermometer in the last hole and this is the support. Right. If you have mercury thermometer then you can use that. Now I am just first putting my capillary in any of these three holes. So I switch on the again. Now you can see it from this eyepiece. Right. I am just going to put it over there so you just see inside this eyepiece so here is the capillary and in this manner you can determine the melting point